Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh has appealed to the disgruntled people of Kashmir not to play with the future of youth of the state. He said that majority of people in the valley want peace. The minister said that dialogue within the framework of constitution is the only way to find a solution. Home Minister Rajnath Singh has said that the future of India cannot exist without the future of Kashmir. Singh said that alternative to pellet guns will be provided very soon. Addressing a joint press conference with the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, the Home Minister said that government wants to bring an all-party delegation from New Delhi to visit soon the state to find a solution of the current situation. The Indian Navy has taken up the Scorpion document leak matter with the French Directorate General of Armament. The Navy has requested the French government to investigate this incident with urgency and share their findings with the Indian state. Indian Navy has also said that an internal audit of procedures to rule out any security compromise will also be taken. The flood situation has improved in the states of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar with the water levels either stable or decreasing. But the situation remained grim in West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is continuously monitoring the situation as his office is in touch with local authorities in Varanasi. JNU student Anmol Ratan, accused of raping a 28-year-old fellow student in the university hostel, was remanded to 14 days judicial custody. A magisterial court at Patiala House Court Complex sent Ratan to a jail after the Delhi police decided not to seek his custody. Foreign Secretary S. Jay Shankar has replied to his Pakistani counterpart on August 19th's re-invitation for talks on Kashmir. Pakistan had on 19th of August invited Foreign Secretary S. Jay Shankar for talks towards end of August. Janmashtami, the festival marking the birth of Lord Krishna, is being celebrated across the country today. The main celebrations are taking place in the cities of Mathura and Dwarka in Gujarat. President, Vice President and Prime Minister have conveyed their good wishes to the nation on the auspicious occasion. The National Payments Corporation of India has said that the Unified Payments Interface is live and currently available for customers of 21 banks. The UPI is a payment solution which empowers a recipient to initiate the payment request from a smartphone. It facilitates virtual payment address as a payment identifier for sending and collecting money and works on single-click two-factor authentication. Kerala will be declared as open defecation free state on its formation day on November the 1st by the CPIM-led LDF government planning to invite Prime Minister Narendra Modi to attend an event in the capital Trivandrum. A decision to this effect was taken at the state cabinet meeting in Trivandrum on Thursday. Four RSS workers of Kerala were critically injured after being attacked by a mob of 20 people in Kannur district. The victims were attacked while they were inside an under-construction house. They have been admitted to a hospital. The world's first self-driving taxi began picking up passengers in Singapore starting Thursday. Select members of the public can hail a free ride through their smartphones in taxis operated by NU Tommy, an autonomous vehicle software startup. The impeachment trial of Brazil's first women president, Dilema Rousseff, got underway today with high expectations that the suspended leader of Latin America's biggest economy will be sacked within days. If she is removed from office, her former vice president turned rival, Michelle Timmer, will be sworn in to serve until 2018. Badminton player Sanya Nahewal dropped four places to be ninth while PV Sindhu remained in the 10th spot in Badminton World Federation ranking despite getting a silver in the women's single competition at the recently concluded Olympics. India's first and only individual Olympic gold medalist Abhinav Bindra was named the chairman of a five-member review committee to probe into shooters' video games debacle. The National Rifle Association of India said that the mandate of the committee is to examine the causes behind shooting, not securing any medal at the Rio Olympics. Sri Lanka's dashing batsman Tilakratne Dilshan has confirmed today that the limited over series against Australia will be his last in international cricket. Dilshan will play his last one day in Dambula on Sunday and final T20 in Colombo on September the 9th. Dilshan has already quit Test cricket in 2013.